Welcome back guys, CryptoFollow channel. Today we'd like to talk only about a Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance. Let's dive in. First of all, guys, I'm not uh, this type of uh, influencer who will tell you all the time buy the D, buy the D, because uh, we don't have unlimited budget. Also, uh, just to be honest, uh, my investment portfolio now in losses, and it's more than okay because it's investment portfolio, so you don't have to worry about it because you invested the money, what you can invest and like uh, mm, freeze for next uh, one and a half or two or, or even the three years because it's investment. For intraday, we can trade a intra inside a day, right? Or uh, for swing trades, we can use uh, total another budget. For swing trades, uh, uh, I don't have uh, any some hopium or the great news. It's uh, the, it's bottom or so. No, guys, we can't know where will be the exact bottom uh, for this correction for Bitcoin. So we just work with uh, risk management. You know what we can control. Uh, we dump it twenty seven percent. So previously, of course, we dump it even a bigger correction twenty seven percent. So take a look. This was like fifty five percent. So just comparison between the May, April, uh, May and uh, June, it's on 21 and current situation. So uh, also here was, uh, let's take a look, this was a COVID dump, February, it's on 20, uh, 65%. So it was like pure capitulation. So it's weird in one of uh, these videos, I showed you, you know, the capitulation can be even to 40, 45%, uh, 45 K. So uh, what is uh, okay now uh, if we analyze this chart So uh, and what I don't like? I don't like and I explained to you in a big video about the Bitcoin cycles. This was uh, signals to sell. One, sell, sell. And we got a sell on a month time frame uh, in April. So it uh, person for me looks weird. Of, of course, I don't think so. Uh, this was the end of bull run uh, because uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, S&P 500 going to new all-time high at this current moment, while Bitcoin going down 27%, uh, Nvidia at the top, uh, Nasdaq at the top, uh, everything at the top, and only Bitcoin after Bitcoin ETF going to correction. So it's kind of weird, uh, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, basically, the Bitcoin just a manipulative asset. Yes, yes, guys. I still think Bitcoin just a manipulation uh, and speculation. Uh, take a look. Uh, weekly time frame. Uh, I still think we can go to new all-time high, uh, maybe around some 25, because uh, anyway, before the United States election, these uh, guys needed votes, so they tried to make everything, uh, everything good for for uh, people. Uh, take a look uh, also here a monthly time frame once again. We close uh, 50 percent of a monthly gap. So this one. So we tested monthly gap. This one basically done. Uh, we can also the test fifty two eight hundred seventy nine, or fulfill can be forty nine uh, twenty seven on um, spot. Uh, fulfill is around forty forty eight uh, ninety. So around here, next monthly gap uh, only here. So it's around thirty six and uh, thirty seven. I don't think so. We'll drop so low. So basically all this zone already tradable uh, so it's not a necessary so we should dump to this block or so but we can we can and we will we will be still in the uptrend in the local uptrend so you know like this one low uh, higher lows higher uh, highs so but it's gonna be weird uh, just to be honest guys this cycle totally different because uh, we got a lot of uh this uh, a drop uh, coins uh, like Starknet. Imagine that in some 21, uh, when the coin uh, made around 800 million market cap, you could make a 5x, 10x. Now Starknet uh, around 800 million market cap, and uh, this coin drop it down uh, like 90 percent down. So it's weird. It's weird. And it's not fully unlocked coin. Uh, weekly time frame, uh, the worst case scenario on a weekly, I showed you here. Uh, we sweep uh, this liquidity pool. One thing, so it's good. We can delete it. Uh, next one, uh, it was the weekly uh, farewell gap, 50%, this line. We done. Next one, take a look. We tested 
perfectly test on uh, futures. We tested uh, the lowest point was here. Let's me check 53, 329. So we tested the um, exit line, exit line above. So on the weekly time frame, how it played out previously, uh, I would like to show you. This was a test. So this, this was a test bounce. After that, we bounce it like 43% uh, up and then uh, correct down to test the take profit line. Uh, now we test only uh, this line, so er 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 around, in the middle, right? So if we will see the 43% now pump, it could be like new all-time high. So it's weird. Take profit line above, it's uh, 49, uh, 277. So yes, it's uh, it can be the weekly, uh, monthly fulfill. So if we will see one more week down and August down, so yes, we can test this line. So this is kind of weird personally for me. And take a look on the daily time frame uh, here. Buy line at this current moment is 43, 457. But at least uh, we got uh, from that sell in March, some 24. Here, signal to sell. Exactly almost at the top. Uh, here we got a signal to take profit from sell at 58,200. Now we got a signal to buy, so step by step we can see the accumulation. So um, yes, it's kind of like a positive signals, uh, but uh, personally nothing special, right? And the uh, next step is, uh, here's a buy line for Bitcoin 43,600, uh, take, take profit line on the daily, here it was at 89,330, now it's going down uh, 86, uh, uh, 391. So this is basically what I don't like uh, because we tested the exit line on the daily and maybe, maybe it's going to be the end of bull run, for example, at 86 or 89 uh, here, K or 97. Here are the exit, exit line on daily is 97, 557. And maybe once again, the, everybody waiting the 100K and we just stuck uh, on 12 time frame. You can find out. Um, so we just traded in a range, and here we close now to buy line on 12 time frame 44 200, and take profit is uh, 87 400. Uh, but at least we got uh, some kind of signals to buy, so we can close this one. Uh, take a look on direction ADZ on the weekly time frame. Uh, here, what is good? Uh, we are in accumulation. So there is no divergences or so. We're in accumulation. Uh, what is bad? What is really bad is here. It's on the futures. Uh, so this uh, how it playing out when we saw the this kind of signals. So it was November 21. And here is a distribution from November 21. So it's kind of kind of scary now. Uh, that's why, yes, maybe maybe it was a pure manipulation and end of bull run. Who knows? Uh, just uh, uh, three tops and we're going down. We will see. And let's take a look also on the uh, monthly time frame on um, futures. It looks like this one, but uh, let me check. Yes. Um, so nothing, nothing special, right? So this is distribution. So yes, so this is not accumulation. So I highly recommend you go and watch the big video about the Bitcoin cycles. Uh, uh, can be really, really useful. Uh, market moon, money power, two less indicators. Uh, weekly time frame, mm, at least uh, market a little bit came down. So this is what is can be the good one. Uh, here, how it come down. So it was capitulation on the weekly time frame, uh, even on the futures. This is capitulation, this uh, RSI bullish, uh, the warranty pump. And now we got a free a free and here uh, now we once again in like a positive uh, zone and the uh, last time when we saw it here uh, it uh, was like April 23 and after a free it was like September 23 so this is it now market come down on weekly and uh, we need to see the money inflow uh, like this one so we need to combine you know uh, money inflow like it was in September 2023. So yes, maybe we'll see the money inflow. Uh, I I hope at 52 or even uh, 49. 
and then we will see the money inflow and continuation continuation higher and also take a look uh yes we saw we saw the head and shoulder pattern this one left so left shoulder head right shoulder here we format the uh, right shoulder and uh, based on classic ta we should go in higher and i mark you we could go in here uh but we dump it so that's the case uh, why um, the classic ta basically uh, doesn't work on the daily time frame also what is good here's the money inflow so step by step for some reason here was money outflow money outflow money outflow uh, a lot of a lot of bearish rsi so i maybe just ignore it and now the money inflow so uh, 64 and 53 the money inflow uh, and this belief on uh, on the daily time frame market mode uh, we will see we'll see uh, my take uh, uh, the flash crash can be so let's say from the top here it can be like 40 34 percent uh, yes it can be like 30 percent 44 percent 32 percent 30 percent it can be like 49 uh, k yes it's more than real to see sweep of this low is uh, 38 i don't think so will drop so low but uh, guys everything possible uh i think i think uh, the bitcoin become less volatile and we grow and show the less uh percentage gains right and we emit uh, less corrections so that's the take uh we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, but uh, i don't think so this was the end of bull run and uh, let's take is for bitcoin dominance uh what is bad for altcoins this one uh, we rejected at this wedge so i'm waiting this positive scenario green one it's going to be the positive for altcoins and uh, negative scenario is 58 percent um for bitcoin dominance so this uh absolutely still relevant uh, chart i draw it in posted in april so we will see uh, time to fix altcoins will be at this block so now if you see some setup for your uh, for your altcoins you can accumulate it so guys i hope you like this video about bitcoin uh, write please in the comment what do you think about the current situation on markets if you would like to trade with my customer Garcia, what i showed you in this video just write me dm subscribe channel his like button his notification button don't forget to join my telecom channel see you next time guys